Our first story today takes us into what I think will be a whole new world for many of our viewers. I think you're right, Olivia. You are going to explore the realm of phytopharmaceuticals. Whoa, that's a big word. <laughs> it's a world that could drastically change the way we go about staying healthy. Phytopharmaceuticals are medicines made from plants. That means they don't contain the concentrated synthetic chemicals that comprise most of the drugs we take today. The ideology of Western medicine or allopathic medicine is one chemical, one receptor, one cure. They have one targeted push to the body. That's why there are so many side effects. Narinder Dougal is a medical doctor and educator with specialized training in pharmacology. Marcus Lowe is a naturopathic physician and author who's traveled widely studying natural medicines. Doctors Lowe and Dougal are recognized as experts in the field of phytopharmaceuticals and often consult for leading firms in the field of natural medicine. They both agree that synthetic pharmaceuticals have great value in emergency or short-term situations. But those results come with a price tag that often includes dangerous side effects. So doctors Dougal and Lowe say plant-based pharmaceuticals are a far better way to support long-term well-being. We're looking to nourish ourselves, and many of these drugs are basically single entities that inhibit an enzyme action or, or create a reaction to take place, but they don't help mend the body. You can't just manage a symptom and think someone's going to get better. You could, with a drug, save somebody's life. That's where they work the best short-term crisis intervention. But to create health, we have to do something different. And that's our key, is to have a plant matrix that has the ability to take multiple re receptors and decrease them and return the, the human body back to a balance. That's the key difference. So the whole plant matrix is the therapeutic uh, entity, not the single chemical. If you want to create health, if you actually want to improve somebody's condition safely and efficaciously and actually create a cure, you can't do it with a synthetic product. You can't do it with a single synthetic bullet. But the plant-based materials, having many uh, ingredients that can buffer, that can synergize, that can make it more gentle and encourage health, is the way to go. Plant-based medicines, of course, are not a new idea. And in fact, they are the basis of most medicine on Earth today. Here's how ethnobotanist Chris Killam of the University of Massachusetts puts it. Plant medicines or herbal medicines are the number one category of medicine in use in the world today. About five billion people on earth use plants as medicines. They don't do so because they're ignorant, superstitious, or stupid. They do so because plants work. But US doctors demand drugs that deliver consistent results as confirmed by clinical trials and synthetic pharmaceuticals do deliver that. Doctors go to medical school, what do they learn? What it's, what's taught to them? So what's taught to them is pharmaceutical prescription. That's how they think, that's what they're comfortable with, that's what that organization is about, and if they're practicing standards of care, what their other associates are doing, then they're safe and they're doing what they've learned and what's appropriate. Doctors Lowe and Dougal say changing that thought process is going to take education, scientific data, and a willingness to learn from other parts of the Western world. In chronic conditions, if we can use natural, scientifically validated, safe, effective products, that would be what we, we, would, we would want as first line and as well as an adjunct to prescription drugs to help the prescription drugs as well. Conventional medicine of choice today is a synthetic pharmaceutical. I'm thinking that world is going to change and that as the European pharmacists and medical doctors are embracing natural medicine, phytopharmaceuticals, they want a standard. We all want a quality control. We all need something that we know is safe and we know that is effective. And that's what they've done in Europe. Dr. Lowe says rigorous scientific standards are being applied to the production and testing of phytopharmaceuticals at companies like Bionorica in Germany. So what we have now is a plant material that is the same, that is standardized, batch after batch, pill after pill, harvest after harvest. Pharmaceutical standards applied to natural medicine. Natural product in its complexity, in its potency, uh, with science applied to it. To me, that is the future of pharmacy, that is the future of medicine. 
Doctors Dougal and Lowe also agree that Americans are often far too dependent on drugs for their well-being. Our health comes from within in ourselves, and that is very clear as well. But natural ways of healing, if we can adopt them into our uh, culture and recognize that we can still secure a scientific approach to that. It's what we do day to day, the habits that we are aware of and that we're proud of, and the habits that we're unaware of, whether they are supportive or not, impact who we are and how we are. Natural products will do it. You can't do it with a synthetic. You can't do it with an additive. You can't do it with the next miracle drug. There is no silver bullet that's going to improve everybody, make them thin, grow their hair back, do all this stuff. It's, it's an impossible marketing lie. So as we come to grips with that and realize the government it, with healthcare reform is not gonna save us, that there's nothing that's going to come and bail us out of our condition except ourselves. And what's extraordinary about natural medicine, natural lifestyles, is that you can reverse and heal from almost anything. You have to know it, you have to commit to it. And part of that commitment to staying healthy, according to what I just saw, is using natural medicine as often as possible. Exactly right. You know, what's interesting, uh, the two experts I talked to represented what could be seen as opposite ends of the spectrum. I mean, one was a conventionally trained MD, the other was a naturopathic physician. But it looked to me like they both came to the same conclusion when it comes to the benefits of those phytopharmaceuticals. That's exactly right. And you know what's also interesting is they both expect that opinion to be increasingly adopted by their medical colleagues.